In this video today, we're going to design a very simple timer for an aeroponic system. This video is in a response um, to a question from Jay. He asked, he want a very simple timer where he can switch on a pump for a certain amount of seconds and then switch it off for a certain amount of seconds. He also asked me to talk a little bit about the connection that must be done from the main supply through the relay. Let's draw the basic structure. You'll have a neutral and a live wire on your main supply. Now the neutral wire will go straight through to your pump. So let's say that's our pump. Our live wire must be switched. So this can be a normal switch that we've got there. So if you switch it on, the pump is on. And if you switch it off, the pump is off. Now we're going to replace that switch with a relay. And in this case, I recommend using a solid state relay because we're going to use an AC pump. The next component, of course, is our Arduino. So we've got our Arduino there. And the Arduino is going to control the switch, this relay that's going to switch the live wire on and off to the pump. Another question was, how do you supply your Arduino board with power? And the easiest way to do that is to take a normal cell phone charger like this and you just supply that from your life and neutral and then you plug in your little cable to your Arduino itself. The same place where you're going to do your programming, you can just plug in that power supply there and you can use this as a power supply. It's an easy way and we normally have um, a few cell phone chargers lying around that you're not using. So the only thing that you need is a cable. Uh, this of course is a normal USB to a, it's an AB, USB A to USB B cable that you use. So that's a way to, to connect or to power your Arduino board. All right, so you have your cell phone charger there. Of course, your cell phone charger will get its life and neutral there. And then from there with your USB A to USB B, you have a power connection to your Arduino board. It's as easy as that. I must warn you that um, working with live AC wires is dangerous. So if you're not comfortable or if you're not qualified for that, uh, get someone to help you with that connection. Right, let's make sure of our physical connection. And you'll see this is very, very simple connection. So we've got a 5 volt wire going to the 5 volt pin on our relay board. Then we've got a ground wire going to the ground pin on our relay board from the ground on the Arduino. And then we're going to, in this case, use a digital output pin to switch the relay and we're going to use pin number seven as you'll see just now in the code. So a very, very simple circuit. It's only going to, Arduino itself is only going to do a timing function that switch this relay on and off. And the switch inside the relay will then switch on and off the pump of the aeroponic system. So let's have a look at the code and you'll see that it's extremely simple code. Let me explain it quickly. So we will say that our pump pin, the pin that's going to switch on the pump on and off uh, by switching the relay on and off is going to be on digital pin number seven. And then we must just define how long we want this uh, relay to be on and how long we want it to be off. So let's start with a pump on time of 2 seconds and the pump off time of 3 seconds. Then we go to the setup part. Now always remember our setup only runs once when the, uh, the Arduino start up. So we've got the first command there, serial begin 9600. Just, that's just for communication to our PC screen because in the same code I'm also going to write to the screen just to say if the pump is on or off and then we must tell that pin that digital pin of us that 
digital pin number 7 is it going to be an input or an output pin and in this case of course it will be an output pin why because we're going to put out there a one or zero that's going to switch that relay on and off all right then in our main loop now you'll see there's only one function in this main loop and i always encourage you guys to use functions in your code so although it's a very simple code i've also written this in the in that format so we call the function pump now the pump function will switch the pump on wait for a certain time period switch the pump off and wait for a certain time period and when the pump is switched on we're going to write to the screen pump on and when the pump is switched off we're going to write to the screen pump off extremely simple to follow the code digital write pump pin high so we switch on the relay then serial print pump on so we, to the screen just the pump is on we delay for a certain amount of seconds um, then we digital write pump and low so we switch off the relay then we say on the screen pump is off and then we delay for a certain amount of seconds and that certain amount of seconds of course was defined at the top you will see here is pump on time pump off time and we find that at the top where initially you set this to the amount of seconds that you want this on or off uh, just please note note that you see it's multiplied by a thousand that's because the delay function that we've got in, uh, for the Arduino works in milliseconds. So the time that we've defined is in seconds. So we must multiply that by 1000 in order to actually have seconds in our delay. So what we'll make sure is that we've got the correct COM port. And you'll see my Arduino Uno is on that COM port, port 10. And then you'll also make sure that it's the correct board and that it's a uh, Arduino Uno and not a Mega or something else. If that is correct, then we, we can compile and you can see it compile correctly. And then we can upload to the board. But let's first build our circuit. Now, the relay that we're going to use can be a normal relay with contacts like these, or it can be a solid state relay a contactless re, uh, relay where it's a semiconductor that's doing the switching now for ac supplies if you want to switch ac i recommend that you use a solid state relay also note that the solid state relay that i've got here it's got four different relays so you can switch four different uh, pumps or whatever you like ac devices with this solid state relay but uh, because the normal relay it clicks nicely and we can hear it uh, i'm going to put that in but you'll see the pins for this exactly the same you'll have a, a five volt and a ground and a switch pin and this one again you'll have five volt ground and a switch pin of course the switch pins will be for every single relay in this case there will be four switch pins in this case there will be only two switch pins to switch either this relay or this one so let's go to our circuit so let's take our purple as our 5 volt pin ECC push it in there and let's use our green as our ground pin just going to connect the green to ground there they're very close together is it and now we can decide if we're going to use relay one or two and let's use the relay number one for this connection then we go to our arduino itself and we set that our ecc or our 5 volt is purple so i'm just going to press that at 5 volt our ground is our green so you can remember in the code we said we're going to use digital io 7 and there's it we've got our complete connection now we can program our code to our arduino board of course it's coupled to our usb port of our pc uh, please note you've got your relays here and you've got two connections there this is normally open connections in this specific relay 
you can also get relays where you've got a normally open and a normally closed connection. Then you always use the normally open if a one must switch it on. Or um, if you use a zero to switch it on, then you're going to use the normally closed connection for that. All right, but in this case, only normally open connections for every relay. So it's like an open switch, and when this relay switch on, that switch will close. So what will you do? You will come in with your live wire into the one side and then go out with the live wire on the other side and to your pump. Right, we can now upload our code to our board and you see it's already uploaded. In the background here you can already hear the relay switching. So it will be on for two seconds and off for three seconds. We can also open our serial monitor and you will see on the serial monitor pump on pump off pump on pump off let's have a look at the bench and there you can see relay number one switching on for two seconds off for three seconds and of course you can change that timing uh, by just changing the time in your code also in the description you'll find the code for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.